part two of the Hoarder Rat House. So they're gonna go ahead and they're searching right now. So right now they're in explore mode, guys. They're you know, he's getting into strike mode. Rats. Well, guys, I'm back from vacation and I'm super excited to be part of episode number two. And if you guys remember part one, if you haven't seen it, we had the mink man out here with his dogs just going through this place like no other. It was amazing. Super heavy thing. <laughs> Flaquito. <laughs> I told you I catch him. <laughs> but we've got so much work to do here. We're going to start in that master bedroom and bathroom and start cleaning this place up to get these rats out of here. Yep, and a lot of you guys in the comments for sure were saying everything's got to be completely out of that yep. house. And we're about to get started right, right now. now. Hello. Hi. We'll leave you guys to this room. We'll start in your back bedroom area. Do you oh, have okay. anything important back there? Well, she just took the only important papers. Good. Still getting a lot of activity, right, with the rats? Yeah. You guys yeah. have had to go to a motel. Yeah. Because of the rats. Yeah. And this room is so room. much cleaner now. Look yeah. at this. Yeah. So uh, I really haven't seen any in this area. Our cat has killed two of them. And drop them down there. They go behind my bed, all over those drapes, up and down those drapes almost all night. See, all this stuff we gotta clean up today. All right. And you're ready for that, right, Big? I'm ready for that. Got a really, really big day ahead of us. A lot of content to move to the outside. And uh, we gotta figure out where these rats are inside the kitchen cabinet, the walls. It's gonna be a crazy, crazy episode here. Vig brought some crews as well. They're going to be helping us out. So we're going to take everything out of this bedroom window. And then she wants everything in the master outside so she knows exactly which part of the house it came from. You're headed to the outside, okay? Endless, endless, endless. Oh, there's a dead rat right there. Amazing how there's a dead rat right below the bed and they're able to sleep in this environment. It's just very, very shocking. Jimmy on vacation coming back. We're putting him into work. How does it feel to get all this stuff out of here finally? Oh, good. Good in a way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Amigos, una pregunta. ¿Sabe por qué los mexicanos poner la gorra así? No. ¿No sabe? ¿Tú sabe? No. ¿Tú sabe? No. ¿Por qué? Cuando hace pipí puede poner la taco aquí. Ah. <laughs> ah. Amigo, mira eso, por favor. Amigo, vamos a poner el espejo ahí afuera y también vamos a mover el, el cama más, más afuera de la pared. Por favor. Perfect little house for the rats. Little baby rat there. Just in case. Just in case. Oops. <laughs> Get the gun! Get the gun! Okay, I got him. Get the gun! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! I got him! Yes, it's called. Hold on. We need Joseph back. I told you I catch him. I told you I catch him. <laughs> So they're definitely living underneath that bed. That is their hot spot. Jeff, come on, come on. You in the closet, Jeff. Right in the closet. Oh, little baby right here. Oh, look at that one. That thing's been there for at least a month. Buttermilk pancakes. Yeah, they love this closet. Yeah. Big as close. I think all those rats ran through here, so they potentially could be underneath this. 
Anybody want a $30 HEPA filter? We got one for free. Wow. wow. Guys, such a big difference. Huge. We sprayed our enzyme all over. So now it's time to reveal the clean bedroom for big. Check this out, you guys. Look at the difference of before and now the after. All right, remember the chairs? Remember the, the piano? Remember the closet? The bed now. I made the bed. David here. Not bad, Dave. You should be an interior designer. I, I don't know why you're catching rats. What do you think? It's nice. Isn't it amazing? Yeah. Big difference? Yeah. Nice. Thank you. I haven't seen underneath that grand piano in 10 years. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Oh wow. <gasps> oh my goodness. You moved all the stuff from all the Christmas the rat, stuff. The rats were living, living underneath, underneath your bed. bed. And then all the wood was falling apart. That's why we had to stack the mattresses. Oh, that's okay, because I got brand new mattress I already bought. Ah, and I, we can see my carpet again. <laughs> These carpets were really expensive. We have our enzymes. Oh. So everything got treated Does with our it enzymes. Does it smell better in here? Oh, gosh. I was holding my breath at night. We got the bathroom. Uh, oh, oh, my... Oh, okay. Wait until my daughter comes back. She went to get gas for the Does this uh, feel good tractor. to you? Oh, this feels more than good. It feels marvelous. Oh. Uh, you you have no idea how grateful I am for this, this well, one thing. Well, you know what? I've got to tell you something, Vig. We deal with a lot of people that have a lot of stuff. And for you to break that is a, a massive, step. massive step. Because these rats have too many places to hide when oh, there's yeah. too many things. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. That, mm -hmm. uh, it, it's amazing. And we got rid of that TV. My, all my children are minimalists. What's the emotion behind it right now, Vic? It's thrilling. It, it's wonderful because my husband and I spent 35 years in this house. It's hard to let go. It's hard to let go. Wow, that's touching. Vic is super excited. She's bringing her daughters now into the room. Everything is out of here. Wow. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh my gosh, and it smells good. <laughs> it smells good. Oh my goodness. That, oh God. Is that unbelievable? Believable. This they, looks they just... wonderful. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Appreciate wow. that. Did you find rats in here? Yeah, there was four rats. This room is rat free as of oh, right now. Oh, Oh, gosh. So nice. Now it's time. Got that kitchen right now. So our guys were using Clorox, but it just got so toxicated in here, you couldn't even work in this environment. So we went ahead and grabbed our simple scrub. It's a scrub brush that makes it so easy. Look at that. Versus this, guys. Yeah, that's too much. My knees, yeah. my back is already hurting. Simple. Let's keep it Let's simple. Let's keep it simple. We're making great progress in this kitchen, man. I'm loving it, guys. This is exciting. Look at how much better this kitchen is. So much better. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with this laundry room now. Here's behind the dryer. Oh, wow. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> and you took out that meat slicer. I bought two other meat slicers because I wanted a small meat slicer. Ah! Now I can spray paint everything with my airless spray paint. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, it's amazing. Ah! I'm so excited. <laughs> Julie, look at the what do you think, Julie? Julie? Yeah, it looks very nice. I'm giving this to an auctioneer. I'm giving that bench to an auctioneer. Good, good. I'm, I'm giving that desk to an auctioneer. I'm going to give as much stuff as I can to auctioneer. That's the mindset right there. I don't need all this stuff. Love the attitude, uh, Big. What do you think, Julie? He was, looks nice. Do you like this better? Yeah. Or before? Right? I like this better. Yeah. Come check out the laundry room. Wow, wow, wow. It's beautiful. Oh, gosh. 
Everything's bagged and cleaned. You can smell the enzymes. It smells better. It smells oh, we got behind the washing machine too. So much lint and nesting material back here. Oh, they were nesting back here? Yep. We got oh them. my goodness. Feels good disrupting these rats. They have nowhere to go. We're starting to really get all of the food sources. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's happening and she is excited. <laughs> This is a huge, huge, huge step for Vig. I'm uh, super happy that she's changing her mindset and getting everything cleaned out. And now it's getting the outside and around her house. She's going to have to deal with that for sure. But uh, this feels really, really good. So that's all from the actual master bedroom right there. That's amazing on how much content was in that room. It's over 110 bags. So guys, as you know, we're getting everything clean. These rats are being disruptive for sure because even Vig and the daughters told us last night that they were hearing screeching because these rats, they have nowhere else to go. Especially after the cleanup, what we've found is holes inside the walls underneath the kitchen cabinets. So we've got an idea that I think you guys will like. We're bringing in the snakes. Okay, so there's three modes that you're gonna see these snakes go into. And one of them's explore mode, one of them is striking mode, and one of them's why they call them ball pythons, is when they ball up into a little ball. Okay, right now they're in explore mode, so they're gonna go ahead and they're searching right now. Look, see? Oh, yeah. they bite though? You're not a rat, so they're not after you, they're in explore mode. Now if they were in strike mode, like if they're set back, yeah, that's when they're ready to attack. So right now they're in explore mode, guys. They're kind of sensing the new environment. Okay. He's getting into strike mode. Now he's getting into strike mode. He's getting into strike mode right there. So right now we're just warming them up before we get them into the actual cabinets. This is called the pastel highway. And this right here is a clown snake. We got this idea from a TikTok video. Check it out. Rats going through there and underneath that vanity there. They're underneath that vanity. The nesting material, the holes, definitely a hot spot. Got about six inches left. He's in. No rats in this wall. It's going straight for that hole. Got to get some gloves. Got <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> All right, guys, we heard some activity underneath this bathroom vanity. So we're going to get the snake in there because we know there's something inside this bathroom vanity. I caught one a lot of nesty material for sure. Here he goes. Here he goes. Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. Dude, dude, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep pushing. Get that way, Okay. Hold on. Right here. Right here. Oh, the snake's gonna get it. He went back into the snake. Hold it. Cover that. Cover that. That was awesome. That snake just flushed that rat out of here. So now they're back in there, but we haven't heard any squealing yet. We're gonna give it a few minutes and see what we can uh, see what happens here. I think he's got the he's got the rat. Does he? He's choking him out. I yeah. see the rat's tail. Yes, right here, look at that. Bam. Oh, nice. Oh, fresh, fresh nice. rat right there. Just wondering if there's another one in there. So there's that hole. I'm gonna go ahead and use some of this, see if there's any more rats in here. Looks like the snake flushed them out. And of course, the uh, snake takes a big dump and pee. I've never seen a snake 
go poop before. Now I have. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and set a trap in that hole because those rats, when we were cleaning out the room, they came in here and we found the hole. So I know they're underneath there. Hey, Mark, thanks for coming out today. Yeah, I really appreciate you guys having me out here, man. It was actually a, a, a real joy doing this. <laughs> this is the first time for me, so it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Well, Snakes, Clown, good job today. Appreciate you. You can go home now. Hey, thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Day two of the cleanup. Let's go check out Vig. This room is a huge transformation. Unbelievable. So massive, massive impact here. As you can see, we've gotten rid of all of the nesting materials, all of the debris where these rats were hiding. This place is so much more now open. So now these rats can't hide anymore. We've sealed up all of the holes. And what we're gonna do now is start to decolonize by bringing them in to this tower trap right here. This is where it's all gonna happen. We loaded it up with a bunch of cat food. So this is gonna attract them. It's the only food source left in this house. So we're just gonna monitor with this camera, catch these bad babies. All right, so we've got the camera here in the kitchen. Took a stick, set the camera, and it's facing the rat trap right here. So remember that hole that was underneath that vanity? Sure enough, we got one. Yep. Nailed it. Man, the twins, every time you come into a home where we live, you disrupt us. Babe, we need that rat band. All right, only for you, Vig. <sighs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Can you do the red dance? No, my son's skin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, it's been about two hours later. We've got some activity. You can see right there that rat just sitting at the side of our twin tower trap. Just debating whether he wants to go in or not. What's really great about this is that the rats are very active and they're trying to figure out their new environment. Food is completely gone. So they're definitely hanging around that, that trap. Okay, so we're headed back to Vig's. Lot of activity we've seen through that camera. Unfortunately, that camera was moved, so we really don't know how many rats we've caught. Three, four, five, ten? What's your thoughts? Leave in the comment. Let's go check it out. Feel pretty heavy? Yes. Okay, here's our little scooper here. Ooh, that's a big one. Look at that bad baby. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. Five. There's two of them right there. What a big one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Got nine of them. Amazing. I don't know of another pest control company that would have did what you did. And this is really terrific. Thank you, Vic. It, it warms my heart mm. what you did. Whoa! Love it, guys. This is so rewarding when you can make a massive impact like this. And seeing the dogs, the snakes, and all of the cleanup and everybody working together and seeing Vig smile and that relief and that excitement. Oh. It's yeah, amazing. That's, that's touching, guys. Hey, guys, post your comments down below. Love to hear what you'd have to say. Hit, Hit that, that subscribe button, and we'll, we'll see you on the next one. one.